Hey, I'm Alec from the Bayless Brothers, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna show you how we did this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of my room. Who I'm, you, who you were talking to? My friends, I'm exercising. Okay, well. Have you seen my underwear? Dude, I'm trying to bomb this hell, bro. All right, so here's what we got. This awesome decanter from Age Denor. Open it up, this becomes a cup. This becomes a cup and you have this awesome hand-blown decanter. And then I wanted to kind of do something where like the lid flew off magically and so did this. And then this is just spinning in air with all the sweet, sweet spirit you put in there. And then it closes back up. And then I match cut to here where we uh, do a whole nother scene for the rest of the piece. Let's make it move. All right. Okay, so the first step is to shoot each individual asset. So we'll shoot this section by itself spinning. We'll shoot this top part by itself spinning. And we'll also shoot this full of uh, liquid gold, also known as bourbon. And we'll put those on the, the spinners and we'll shoot those for like 10 to 20 seconds each. So after we shoot all those individual assets of the decanter on the, the tabletop turn, the table turner? Turn the table, on the turntable. Then step two, we wanna shoot that first frame in the story that we have that we're gonna match cut to. And action. And then we can shoot the rest of the commercial. Okay, so once we've shot all of those elements, we can bring them into Premiere and start cutting them out. Uh, you can actually just do this in Premiere, especially if the piece that's spinning doesn't move from left to right. So if, if you really center that perfectly and it's hard to do and you want to put like tape over your monitor to make sure it's not moving from left to right, you can do that. But um, as long as it's straight, you can do one cutout and it'll be spinning and you'll have that piece as its own element. Once we've cut out this piece and this piece and the actual decanter itself, uh, we can go ahead and put those into our timeline and stack them. And you wanna stack the glass all the way back and then these two, it doesn't really matter. What I did was put the top on the top layer, the bottom on the middle layer, and then the actual decanter in the back. So once we've stacked all the elements on the timeline, then we can animate each clip uh, as we want. So in this case, I wanted the decanter to open and expand and you could see everything inside and then to close back up. So what I did was I animated the top to move up and I animated the bottom at the same, and I made them the same duration. So they sort of left at the same time and they came back at the same time. So once you've created that initial animation of the decanter opening and then closing again, and you've timed it out how you like, then we can nest all those layers. If you're familiar with After Effects, it's similar to pre-composing. It's basically the same exact thing in this scenario. And then we can animate that nested new element. This next animation, we're gonna animate the scale and the rotation. Start the scale low and then we'll move it up. And then we will also rotate at the same time so it kinda has this like three-dimensional effect, even though it's still 2D. But the fact that we recorded everything actually spinning and cut those elements out instead of just used like renders or photos. All of this is spinning at all the whole time. So there's like lots of elements at play. So there are the individual items themselves are spinning, they're opening and closing and to show you everything inside. And it's also scaling and rotating. So it's really dynamic. So once we do our scale and rotation and we, we were thinking about what that final animation needs to end at, we can take our next frame and drag it over and drop the opacity a little bit. That way we can see where it's at and we can scale it to that size and position. It's sort of a trick of the eyes, sort of a little illusion, a match cut that makes it seem like we're, that we've never left the decanter. 
and that that's all one piece and all one thing is happening at the same time. So that match cut makes it a seamless transition and just the background changes. So once we've done the match cut, we can go back and see if we wanna change the background. There's tons of options. We used black in the original piece and then I used just like a concrete thing I found off Unsplash, just to give it more texture and give it more contrast from the actual black travel decanter. And that's it, that's how we made that. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like and click the little notification button so you know when we're making new stuff. Is this, is he? Was he recording? Thanks for watching. See you next time.